I'm Stuart Bitter, Commercial Manager at Figra. Okay. Can you briefly explain the strategy of Fugro, as you mentioned in your presentation earlier today, for developing uh, USVs in this market? Definitely, yeah. So the uh, ambition of Fugro is to create a safe and livable world. So we've been heavily investing in uncrewed service vessels. We've been doing this already for six years, with the uh, first vessel released three years ago. That was the uh, Blue Essence. And really what we focus on is a vessel that can do subsea inspection. So the USV is carrying an electrical ROV, which can be remotely deployed and uh, do camera inspections, for example, uh, cathodic inspections, uh, and yeah, all the similar scopes of work that you will find. And where are you in this build program? I've recently joined the team, uh, so that has been five months ago. I've been mostly involved with the innovation side of Figro. Right now I'm focusing on the commercial side. So I'm looking for the opportunities to deploy this technology in uh, the field of the offshore, uh, offshore world. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, two blue shadows. They are the hydrography USVs. Uh, they're controlled from uh, a mother vessel. They've been in the water since 2020. Shortly after we released the first blue essence. So that is really the, the first uncrewed vessel controlled from a remote operation center. And we already have five of them sailing around in three regions. Uh, so two are in Europe and Africa region. There is one in the Middle East region, and we have two in the APEC region, in Australia more specifically. The 18 meter has been released three weeks ago, and that vessel will be uh, open service late summer this year. And then we're working on an 18 meter geophysical vessel. So that's currently on the drawing board, and we're planning to release that to the market in 2025. And what type of technologies go into these USVs to make them operational, uh, safe and reliable? Great question. It's really about communication with the asset. So what is important, because there's no people on the vessel itself, is that you have a constant uplink with that vessel. So there's a lot of communication technologies going in there. It can be satellites, uh, it can be systems like 4G, 5G, so the mobile phone network, or Iridium for a fallback. Uh, so that we can keep constant eyes on the asset and also make sure that the data that we collect can be transported back to shore. Sounds really easy, uh, but you're dealing with large amounts of data, so you need to be sure that you have that bandwidth availability. You also need to be sure that the vessel can be doing a bit of post-processing before shipping it off to the shore. And you're dealing with a huge autonomy work package. Uh, as there's no people, there's a big benefit in having situational awareness of that vessel. And eventually, really, we're looking into self-sailing, self-decision-making vessels monitored from that ROC. And where do you see this market in, say, 2027 to 2030? It's going to be huge, I think. It's uh, definitely with what I've been seeing today, with a shortage of vessels on the market. I think the USV can have an excellent addition. Um, it's there to do inspection work that otherwise sh uh, would have been done by, uh, by a larger vessel. So I think we, we will see USVs picking up uh, quite big time in the oncoming three years. Okay. And finally, here at the conference, what's been your big takeaways and experience? I think definitely that the markets are, again, in the upcycle. Um, it is quite stressful, maybe, to see <laughs> how little the supply of, uh, of vessels currently is and that it's pushing the prices upwards. Um, at the same time, yeah, for us as a USV provider, of course, that creates opportunity. And uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting to uh, take away.